I think love is choosing. And choosing to pay attention, choosing to follow up, and to, it's not convenient. There is like a really, really beautiful and important and healthy love story for you, and you obviously are one of the primary architects of that. I'm in love with someone who wakes up in a different body every day. Always the same age, never the same person twice. Excuse me? Again, I think the connection between A and Rhiannon is the connection of being seen. Right. Mm. And I think that that is truly what love is about. Right. Yeah, there's even that line about, you don't see me, mm. right? and A sees her. I know what makes each person different and what makes everyone the same. Love people and love other people for who they are and understand people. Again, don't let your body define you. Don't let how other people see you define you. You will know who you are and you're allowed to explore and experiment mm -hmm. and you're not allowed to not know who you are yeah. when you're a teenager. I think that a beautiful thing is that people are championing the love story in ways that people might be unfamiliar or a bit reserved or have never seen a love story between two kind of girls passing as girls or whatever, being able to follow that and then rooting for that and rooting for the two people to be in love and kind of accidentally realizing that you've just been rooting for the hearts the whole time. The day we met, I felt something I've never felt before. And I don't want to let that go. Hey, this is so weird. I mean, today you're... Not everyone's body aligns with their mind, but... I'm not asking you to give Vic a chance, Rhiannon. I'm asking you to give me a chance. Hopefully, the appeal of it is that it will touch people at a place where they're able to see past the physical and see past what we thought love looked like to us and really see it for what it could be.